Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to create a curtain wall from a mass. In Revit, what I'm going to do is go to my Massing and Site tab, which is just a little bit to the right of the Architecture tab. There, I've already pre-drawn the lines here. Just using the tools up here, you can draw whatever geometry you would like. I'm going to stick to a linear form, so that way I can just create a plane from these lines and then on that mass of a plane, I can create uh, a curtain wall system. So right here, I'm going to select one of these lines and I'm going to go to create form, solid form, and then that creates my plane for me. So once again, 2D uh, lines or paths can basically create planes for us. If I were to actually draw, let's say, like a pentagon, if I want to create form after selecting that pentagon, it's going to actually go and extrude it up, okay, into a 3D mass. Just check finish mass. Now that I have these masses, what I can do is I can assign them some properties. So I'm going to go to massing and site. Let's go to curtain wall by face. So I can click on this curtain wall and I can dictate what kind of system I give it. Right now it says 510. Let's actually edit the type of that curtain wall system. Instead of 510, let's make it, oh, five foot, five foot and apply. We might want to rename that to five foot, five foot. I also recommend if you wanted to keep 510, that you just hit duplicate. that you just hit duplicate and then change your properties and say save. Say create system. Here we can see five foot by five foot squares on that system here. For this wall right here, let's create a uh, curtain system on this mass. Let's go to edit type and this time I'm actually gonna hit duplicate and then let's just name this 10 foot by 10 foot, then you can see the difference. If it by 10 foot, and then let's actually make that 10 foot by 10 foot and say okay. And we can hit create system, and now we see the 10 foot by 10 foot grid and the 5 foot by 5 foot grid. This column that I have here, we can make the top of that a roof. Say create roof. We could go back to massing and site. We could do floors. And we can create a floor uh, for this geometry here. And we could say mass floors one and two. Say OK. Floors one and two are down here the height of this actual uh, mass is pretty tall. So I'm going to bring that down. And our roof is actually stuck up above. And what we can do is we can offset that down. Um, let's see, two level two, 